I know. Here comes the sun. Here comes the sun. That's nah, not working either. Great Vanzini here. Um, everything looks kind of yellow going through the sound holes here. It's because I got yellow lights on. We're looking at a Gretsch. I had to do a quick show and tell here because uh, it's a Christmas present and as soon as I'm done it gets wrapped up and put back under the tree for the next week and a half. So um, it's a Gretsch uh, 5410T, a rat rod. And I looked all over all the big box stores, even a bunch of small box stores, and uh, never couldn't find one anywhere. And uh, much to my surprise, my wife found one uh, on about page five of Google and ordered it up. So, I, uh, of course, I th said I don't know what the return policy was, so I'd better look it over and uh, make sure it's okay <laughs> so we don't run out of time. And uh, so that's what I'm doing today. And uh, it's a it's an absolute beast of a guitar. It is a um, 24 and three quarter, 24.6. It's the Gretsch. I forget Gretsch does a little. They do metric, so it comes out differently. 24.6 uh, um, scale and uh, 22 frets nickel medium jumbos it's got uh, the what they call the black top filter trons but in this case they put red tops on them even though they are the black top filter trons and they sound great and uh, this thing plays as th this is my best Gretsch all of a sudden all my other Gretsches are just fine too they play great too but this one's that extra extra level of uh, detail and attention um, so uh, we got it at a place called Capital Music or Capital Guitars up in Olympia, Washington. Great bunch of guys up there uh, set it up, found an actual case for it, and uh, gave me a huge break on the case, and uh, did good. And they were down to their last one. This was it. And um, so uh, I, you know, we grabbed it, and they got it here overnight. You know, so uh, down to Oregon, so which isn't that's not a long distance, but they did a great job anyway. Uh, it's a rosewood uh, fretboard and a laminated uh, maple on the body. The top is laminated ma maple. They call it a satin finish. I don't know. I think of satin as slight having a slight sheen. It, to me, this seems like it's a matte finish, very dark black. They come in white and a grayish color and black and uh, if you want white or the grayish colors all the stores have them uh, but if you want the black they're out everywhere uh, although they'll probably uh, be getting them in in the next uh, two to three weeks probably would be my guess nut width is 1.6875 it's a graph tech new bone nut uh, it's a big speed it didn't say what the number is I had one that was, uh, some of them are B70s, and then I had one that was a B60, and it looked to me to be identical, so I, I don't know the differences. Um, so that's really, uh, oh, we got a master volume, we got a master tone, then we got a volume for the bridge and a volume for the um, neck pickup. These things just sound great. Uh, it's got a pinned bridge, so it shouldn't wobble around too much. And it just uh, sounds good. So let's just, I'll put through a clean 
There we go. I hope you're hearing that. I have the amp aimed away from the microphone, so I hope it's coming through. Uh, thinner body than most Gretsch's. It's just slightly thinner and I'm really liking it because it just fits much better than the full-size hollow bodies I think. Open back tuners, nothing to even show you there, you know what those are, but uh, open back tuners, uh, 5410T Electromatic Rat Rod. Um, I don't like white guitars, I don't like black guitars and gray guitars either, And uh, but the white one looked pretty cool actually too, but the black one with the red trim, red sort of pick guard or dark wine red pick guard, um, I just thought there was something really that looked cool about that. So um, it's got the uh, Perloid Neo Classic, I call them the thumbnail, most a lot of people call them a th like a thumbprint or little markers on the neck. I think that will show up enough. Anyway, that's uh, gonna. That's a quick show and tell. There's not a whole lot to tell you about this or versus other Gretsch's. Uh, same controls. We'll, we'll do it in a uh, in the uh, bridge pickup. That tone control is like most. It's either on or off. And as soon as you hit one or two it all comes on. Hair variation in there, but not much. Uh, yeah, not much variation in the middle position. Did I turn that up? Okay. Everything's wide open, volumes, middle position, has a great sound. Yeah, just great sound all around. Let's go to the neck. Deep, rich tone. I'm loving the neck pickup on this thing because it's a deep, rich tone, but it doesn't get into that. Uh, sometimes when you go to a neck, even with the, the tone wide open, it just gets a, I don't know, it's not muddy, but it's just too dark of a tone. I'm gonna to have to wear it with the strap. It's actually not, it's body heavy a little bit and wants to tip up this way. And uh, so I think I'm gonna to have to, even sitting down, maybe use a strap. But it plays, man, a lot. great. I'm not sure what that neck is so inviting. But the middle, the middle's not bad. And the bridge. I think I've got a lot of treble turned up here so Great for rockabilly stuff. It just wants to be a rockabilly guitar. Uh, no, uh, it, it, great uh, trim all around the body with uh, it's like a three ply white, black, thin white uh, with uh, the little purfling stuff. White cap on the back of the heel stock. Is that what it's called? Heel stock? The heel part here. And uh, everything about it is just great. Just great.
I, I can't find anything to argue with. It does have those screw-on uh, kind of things where you put your strap in there and then you screw that whole thing in. I don't, I'm not real fond of those even though they're old and traditional for Gretsch. Um, they tighten up really quick and then and then they loosen up really quick and so I think it would be easy to have one of those come loose somewhere along the line. It doesn't want to come loose very easy but I think uh, if it ever did work its way out you could lose it. You can probably buy another one but I don't think it's going to come off while you're playing. I mean if you check it it's okay. A Gretsch 5410T rat rod. That's all there is to say. What did I miss? I, I don't know what they call their uh, neck. Uh, it's like a standard, what do they call it, a soft C? No, it's the standard U. It seems to me to be a modified, I have another, whatever I did a while back with a modified C. It's like a C that's maybe just a pinch. It's pretty thin. It feels great in hand. to about two. It starts to come through. Yeah. Yeah, after about two to two or so it's it's done. It, it's pretty much all the same. So if you got any questions, any comments, which Gretsch would you buy? I saw somebody out there that bought one of the uh, who said they got a Gretsch coming on Monday, one of the solid body ones. And those are really inexpensive and look like they might be great players. They're kind of less pulse shaped. It's Electromatic series. I don't remember what the model is though. And it just looks like um, it, I, I had one of those years and years and years ago. And I sold it and uh, kind of almost regretted selling it. And then I had another one with a Bigsby, a gold, a silver sparkle, and regretted selling that. So um, sometimes you act a little too soon. Anyway, Capital Music or Capital Guitars in Olympia, Washington. They came through for us. So it was very good. Very good. Nice guys. Did great packing, great shipping, overnight shipping. It was great. I don't know if that's always what they do or if that's, if that's just because we were close. So anyway, great Vanzini. Until next time, leave a message, give a thumbs up, give a thumbs down, subscribe, do all that stuff if you so desire. Until next time, talk to you later. Bye-bye.